Hello and welcome everybody to part 11 of my Nations League jersey review. Finally going to be able to finish up all the League D groups. We look at the group D3 today. Tomorrow we're going to look at group D4. And then I will probably make another video with uh, jerseys that I couldn't find or that I've been missing, especially from Leagues B and C. And then we, then we got it. Uh, what jersey am I wearing? I decided to wear my Belgium jersey. Uh, just now I know they didn't make it to the final four, but it's a nice jersey that gets worn not too often, so we might as well use it for this video. I would say let's get straight to it and we look at the uh, jerseys in group D3. First of all, there's no particular order now, it's just how it fitted kind of in the setting. So uh, there's no alphabetic order, there is no uh, how the group ended, no seeding. Just bear with me. We're gonna start with Austria's favorite <laughs> group, uh, League D team, which is the Fairy Islands. If you don't know it, Landskrona, Sweden, 1990. Look it up and you will get to know it. So the Fairy Islands now have um, a part of this Macron program that provides um, kits for smaller nations. And while it doesn't look quite the fairy kit that I expected, it doesn't look bad. I especially like this white Mandarin style collar that they have. Um, the white shirt maybe is a little bit uh, on the boring side, but I like that the sleeve cuffs you have the red and then a little bit of the blue, which is very similar to the fairy flag. I wish there was another blue band. Maybe there is. Just before that, it's um, blue, red, uh, blue, and then the white. That would be the perfect. I was never that great of a fan of the crest, but it's meanwhile iconic. It looks more like a um, trophy that you can win than an actual crest. There's, of course, in 1979 the year that it was founded, and I don't know what is a probably FSF, I don't know what it means, if you know, let me know. Um, two weird spots these days, probably some ventilation on the side, <laughs> under the arms, which is just this red speck, and then that the tail is seemingly red too, and there's a very slight shadow pattern of diagonal, uh, not of horizontal stripes. The away kit is blue, I actually like it a tad better, uh, it makes a little bit more sense, although the flag trim and when I look at now, the sleeve cuffs should resemble the flag, but it, it's just a part of it. You know, it's the Nordic cross with the cross being red with a blue boundary on a white backdrop. So yeah, that's not quite there, but overall I think this one is the one I like better of the two of them. Um, again, the white mandarin style collar, I'm not sure if the, we needed the white at the collar, but overall not a bad kit. I mean, Macron really tried to do something special. And I see here now the shadow striping pad is also kind of a reference to the Nordic cross. I want to... No, it's not. It only goes across. There's no cross to the Macron logo. So far, so good. Uh, the next thing that we're going to look at is the Kosovo, um, which has a supplier that until I saw the shirt, I have not seen so far. This is straight of classic football shirts. Um, the supplier is 14. You can buy it there, brand new in bag. And I gotta say, it's an Italian brand. It's a pretty nice looking kit. A little bit of ripoff of Adidas, I gotta say, but it only uses the two straps on the top and on the sides. But I like the blue. The collar, yes, if this uh, V on the front would extend all around the neck, the two uh, yellow lines, I would like that a little bit better. There's also quite some, I guess it's ventilation going on on the sides. Let's look here at um, kind of more modeled look. Um, as we can see a little bit more there. It actually really looks nice. I like that the two side stripes and then we have the stars in there, which is a reference to the Kosovo flag, Kosovo flag, I guess. And then you even have uh, on the sleeve, cuff, uh, sleeve cuffs, the yellow, uh, I think it says FFK Kosovo, so basically kind of referring to the um, Federation. The big down, of course, the Federation crest, uh, which reminds me very much of the Bulgarian uh, Federation crest with the, it's not the tango, it's a Telstra soccer ball that everyone knows, but in here it's not in black and white, it's at least in blue and white, so there's something going for it. 
but yeah, this is a really nice look looking kit. And uh, when I saw, I saw Kosovo twice, just a few um, minutes or some highlights. But honestly, those kits always looked sharp to me. And I was wondering uh, who is uh, supplying those. Well, it's a small, <laughs> um, it's a small firm called 14. So yeah, definitely got a look into that one. The away kit is very similar. It just flip flops the colors except for the crest. Um, I was a little bit wondering why yellow as an away color, but uh, then why not? I mean, the flag of the Kosovo is blue and you have the golden outline of the country. So I think it makes sense in that, uh, in that way. Uh, and I think they're also between the uh, stripes on the shoulders. I can see now there might be also stars, but maybe not, maybe not. Still, that's a great shirt. And I like how the ventilation is very prominent on there. Uh, really nice kits, probably the, my favorites in this group. Now for the next two kits, I didn't find any nice pictures. So we're going to use match footage and we're first going to look at Azerbaijan and the home jersey, which is the blue one. Um, if I find something nice, I will put it in. Um, it's a blue Nike shirt, uh, more the 2016 or 2017 style. The Azeri crest is very interesting with the flame. Uh, that is cool. Well, other than that, there's really not much to it. It's frankly rather boring and unremarkable. And same can go for the away jersey. With the exception, why do we have black? Uh, the blue with the white makes somewhat sense, although I would have wished that there was blue, red, or blue and green. You know, the Azeri colors are uh, red, blue, and green. So uh, they should have done something with that. And yeah, white and black is rather disappointingly boring. So I gotta say that. But here in the same um, picture, we also already see the Malta home jersey by Givova, another Italian brand that uh, we saw when we looked at the Kiva Verona kits in my Serie A jersey review. And this one really, really looks nice. Very plain and simple, but I like the short collar with a little bit of a v-neck and the Maltese cross on it. Uh, great symbol. The numbering style is maybe a little bit uh, weird, but this is a really nice jersey. I'm not sure if I like it as much as the Kosovo jersey because the Kosovo with the stars on the side really do something, but uh, the Malta jersey, it's pretty nice. And the away jersey for Malta basically does the same thing, just flip-flops the color. I really love the color that it's so white. Um, and you can also see there's a little bit of striping going on, diagonal striping. There probably is also present, I don't know if there's some diagonal striping, um, which makes for a really nice accent. Uh, I like those Malta kits quite some. The Azerbaijan ones, our standard Nike fair is basically a Nike template where they put the crest on there, so uh, a little bit more disappointing. Well, that was it for Group D3. Let me know which choices you liked, whether you agree with my assessment. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. And I'll see you tomorrow for League D4. Up until then.